Will the price of pound US dollar top out sooner rather than later? That's what I'm going to be taking a look at in this video. So why do I think that the price of cable could potentially top out? Well, we've got lots of data coming up for cable, but one thing that I really like to take a look at is the commitment of trader reports. So you can see I've got the cop reports here. These are for pound futures. And what I like to look at is extremes in those particular areas. So what we've got here is the commitment of traders legacy chart. And what we've got is the red line is the commercials. The green line is the non-commercials. And that's what we're going to be focusing on in this video. Now, when I look at extremes, I like to understand what's going on at particular points. So if we take a little look here, if I just grab a pencil, we can see that obviously the market is coming into these lows. And that's what I'm looking at as an extreme. If I look left from this point, we haven't really seen contracts for the commercials that short for a very, very long time. The closest I can see is around about July uh sort of 2021 was when we kind of got near that point in the past so looking now forward i can see that we're very much approaching those same sort of levels now what i like to look at when doing that is how did price react okay so if i just draw a little line here i can see that we're coming into that area again if i then go from here and draw a line higher how did price react in that area? Well, I can see that we were around about that sort of 1.3 area. Let me just draw that line back in just through here. We're around about that 1.3 handle and the market sold off. It sold off and it got fairly close to 1.2. So on a cable chart, on a pound US dollar chart, that would be a thousand pip move to the downside when we reach this area here. So I'm looking for something similar again. So do I think the market's topped out? Not just yet. Where could it top out though? Could it come and reach that 1.3 level and then continue to drive lower? That's what I want to look at. So if I go back over to the cable chart here, the area that we discussed previously is this move down, okay? That kind of uh, negative bearish move from when it topped out towards that 1.3. So what I'm kind of going to look at is previous highs. The reason why I look at previous highs is because that is where I like to identify are buyers going to push through that area or are they going to fail at that point essentially. So I'm looking at this price action here. I'm on a weekly chart here of cable and we can see that price found a recent sort of high around about one spot 28.60 up towards the one spot 29 handle. And I'm looking to see will this area act as resistance again if we go down to a daily chart we can kind of refine this a little bit better so i'm just going to apply that into here and what i'm going to do is just draw a zone i like to use zones because i don't think the market just comes to sort of one point and stops and turns so i do like to identify zones within the market so this would be an area of interest for me i think if we do see anything from the bank of england today which is coming up shortly uh, at uh, 12 p.m gmt we can see that there's an opportunity for the Bank of England to hold interest rates at 5.25%. And we've also got an opportunity here. You can see the BOE MPC vote for hikes is actually meant to change from uh, two previously to zero. So that could actually be a sign that the tightening cycle has ended um, in the UK. And that could obviously cause a little bit of volatility within the market. And we can see that inflation has been moving lower. If I just go to a five year chart here, we can see that we kind of peaked in October of 2022. And since then, inflation has been declining. We had a little bit of a stall in inflation in December and January. Um, we kind of had hotter than expected CPI numbers. And then we've seen that sort of continuation to the down side here so that 3.4 percent now obviously the target range for the fed is uh sorry not the fed the bank of england is that sort of two percent area anything kind of below that two percent mark is that kind of target but that might have to change in the near future we may not see inflation down towards two percent but i think that they're obviously going to hold in this uh event in this latest uh, announcement so what i'm looking for is where will that market top out so i've got an idea that it could top out around about this 128.50 up to 129 obviously if we see 
further dollar weakness, it could go higher towards 1.3, 1.3100 could be a good area as well. Obviously, yesterday we've had a bit of bearishness. If we just go down to a four hour time frame at the moment, We've broken through multiple highs here. I can see that the market has traded through key areas of structure. Um, so I'm looking to see if price comes back lower here. Let me just change that color of the pen just here. Um, if we've kind of pulled back towards these kind of areas, does price get supported again? Do we see price come in and does it start to push back to the upside? But ultimately, this area here for me would be a very good area to look for rejections and maybe a potential top in the market at that point so let's keep an eye on cable if we're going to look at it from an intraday perspective today uh, i actually favored some shorts today um, just because obviously we had an aggressive rally yesterday due to the fomc announcement um, i could see overnight that we kind of built a small trading range in the asia session we recently broke down and we're starting to kind of push lower so i like the idea of maybe coming and testing these volume levels down here so yesterday's kind of value area was down uh, with the lows around about 126.89 and the highs of that value area came in around about 127.40 so if we kind of uh, see some volatility on this announcement and cable falls towards this zone we might find some support here um, for a push back to the upside alternatively if we do get a breach of the current sort of highs of the day then we could see a continuation higher as well do like the idea of being short this market at the moment, but um, I like the idea of maybe price coming and trying to force itself back within yesterday's volumes and failing to do so. So will cable top out? Keep an eye on those coming in the trader reports. Let's see how the market reacts to the Bank of England today. If you did like this video, hit that thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.